<sighs> well, it's nice to be back to back at work. Uh, but it, today was a little horrendous. And I need to unwind. And I want to finish this fucking book. And as you can see, I got a long ways to go. And it doesn't get much better. There's only three drinks in this one. Pretty tired. <laughs> so, this is chapter two of Mosiah, where King Benjamin is like getting ready to die and you know builds a tower and you know bitches out his people out, out his people and you know and <laughs> shit like that. So let's get started. I mean almost forgot. Oh, damn, that's nice. Ugh. Next time I won't pour so much. That was good. <laughs> but that should have been enough. But. <sighs> anyway. And it came to pass that after Mosiah had done as his father had commanded him, and had made a proclamation throughout all the land that the people gathered themselves together throughout all the land, that they might go up to the temple to hear the words which King Benjamin should speak unto them. And there was a great number even so many that they did not number them. They didn't bother to count them. Yeah, so funny because the, the Old Testament would have all these numbers ready. So would the New Testament. You know, <laughs> we know how many J.C. fed. You know, <laughs> we know how many crossed over with Moses. How they keep count? And these prophets didn't. I mean... It's true, I mean, now when it comes to prophecies, man, bullseye! They're splitting arrows with uh, other bullseyes. They're, that's how profoundly amazing these prophecies are. I mean, they're naming Jesus and his mom and whatever. Getting a few things wrong, if you ask me, but there's a possibility that they're actually right and everybody else is wrong. Of course, then again, that would make the spaghetti monster possible, so, you know, I like pasta. <laughs> so I didn't count them. For they had multiplied exceedingly and waxed great in the land. Man, what a lazy bunch. They didn't count them. <laughs> and they also took of the firstlings of their flocks that they might offer sacrifice and burnt offerings according to the law of Moses, and also that they might give thanks to the Lord, their God, <laughs> that to the Lord, uh, wait, their God, who had brought them out of the land of Jerusalem, and who had delivered them out of the hands of their enemies. This has all been said before, again and again. On gold. And had appointed just men to be their teachers, and also a just man to be their king. Who had established peace in the land of Zarahimla? And who had taught them to keep the commandments of God, that they might rejoice and be filled with love towards God and all men? Isn't that nice? Mm. 
Nectar of the God. And it came to pass that when they came up to the temple, they pitched their tents round uh, about every man according to his family, consisting of his wife and his sons and his daughters and their sons and their daughters, from the eldest down to the youngest, every family being separate one from another. Whatever. And they pitched their tents round about the temple, every man having his tent with the door thereof towards the temple, that thereby they might remain in their tents and hear the words of which Benjamin should speak unto them. You know, you can hear through a tent pretty easy. It's just, you know, material. <laughs> Whatever, I'm just... All right, forget it. <laughs> For the multitude being so great <laughs> that King Benjamin could not teach them all within the walls of the temple, therefore he caused a tower to be erected that thereby his people might hear the words which he should speak unto them. <sighs> and it came to pass that he began to speak to his people from the tower, and they could not all hear his words because of the greatness of the multitude. Therefore, he caused that the words which he spake should be written and sent forth among those that were not under the sound of his voice, that they might also receive his words. <laughs> Here's a brick of gold. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sure they wrote on something sensible. <laughs> that they might receive his words. And these are the words which he spake and caused to be written, saying, My brethren, <laughs> all ye that have assembled yourself together, you that can hear my words, which I shall speak unto you this day. <laughs> For I have not commanded you to come up hither to trifle with the words which I shall speak, but that you should hearken unto me, and open your ears that ye may hear, and your hearts that ye may understand, and your minds that the mysteries of God may be unfolded to your view. I have not commanded you to come up hither that ye should fear me, or that ye should think that I of myself am more than a mortal man, but I am like as yourselves, subject to all manner of infirmities in body and in mind. Yet I have been chosen by this people and consecrated by my Father <laughs> and has uh, and was suffered by the hand of the Lord that I should be a ruler and a king over this people and have been kept and preserved by his matchless power to serve you with all the might, mind, and strength which the Lord hath granted me. <laughs> kind of sounds circular. Uh, I say unto you that as I have been suffered to spend my days in your service, 
even up to this time, and have not sought gold, nor silver, nor any manner of riches of you, neither have I suffered that ye should be confined in dungeons, nor that ye should make slaves of one of another, nor that ye should murder, or plunder, or steal, or commit adultery, nor even have I suffered that ye should commit any manner of wickedness, and have taught you that ye should keep the commandments of the Lord in all things which he hath commanded you. And that's big of you, Benji. <laughs> King Benji. <laughs> and even I myself have labored with mine own hands that I might serve you. <laughs> Would you like fries with that? <laughs> <laughs> and that ye should not be laden with taxes. Oh, yeah, they love him. And that there should nothing come upon you which was grievous to be born. And of all these things which I have spoken, yea, <laughs> yourselves are witnesses. Ye yourselves are witnesses. <laughs> this day. All right. Yet, my brethren, I have not done these things that I might boast. Neither do I tell these things that thereby I might accuse you. Ye may know that I can answer a clear conscience before God this day. Behold, I say unto you that because I said unto you <laughs> that I have spent my days in your service. I do not desire to boast. All right, we get it. Yeah. For I have only been in the service of God. All right, then fuck you, you prick. <laughs> and behold, I tell you these things that ye may learn wisdom, that ye may learn that ye, when ye are in the service of your fellow beings, ye are also in the service of your God. <laughs> All right. Behold, ye have called me your king, and if I whom ye call your king, <laughs> and, uh, and, and if I, whom ye call, <laughs> do labor to serve you, then ought ye not labor to, labor to serve one another? <laughs> and uh, behold, also, it, if I, whom ye call your king, <laughs> Who has spent his days in your service of in the service of God do merit any thanks from you? Oh, how you ought to thank your heavenly king. That's right, all three. <laughs> I say unto you that my brethren. If ye should render all the thanks and praise which your whole soul has power to possess to that God who has created you and has kept and preserved you and has caused that ye should rejoice and has granted that ye should live in peace with one another. Really? I never noticed that. I say unto you that if ye should serve him, him, uncapitalized, who has created you from the beginning and is preserving you from day to day, oh, fuck me. Damn, how am I alive <laughs> without him? 
Uh, he's preserved you from day to day by lending you breath. So what's the interest rate on that? Because I, I want to know, uh, know if I own anything, you know. <laughs> Tell me where to send a bill. <laughs> Salt Lake City, no doubt. Yeah, thanks for the air that I breathe. <laughs> that ye may live and move and do according to your own will. Oh, that's a laugh. <laughs> and even supporting you from one moment to another. See? That's a laugh. I say, if ye should serve him with all your whole souls. It's pluralized. I guess he's talking to a whole group and he wants all of their souls. You know, <laughs> if you got a soul, pay attention. Uh, with all your whole souls, yet ye would be unprofitable servants. Fuck you, Benjamin. Fuck you, Benji. You, no matter what you did, you'd be unprofitable servants. Fuck you. <laughs> and behold, all that he requires of you is to keep his commandments. And he has promised you that if ye would keep his commandments, ye should prosper in the land. And if ye never doth vary from that which he hath said, therefore, if ye do his commandments, he doth bless you and prosper you. Written on gold. And now... In the first place, he hath created you and granted unto you your lives. <laughs> for which ye are indebted unto him. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> and secondly, he doth require that ye should do as he hath commanded you. For... Which, if ye do, he doth immediately bless you. <laughs> and therefore he hath paid you. Sounds cheap somehow, I don't know. Yeah. And ye are all indebted unto him. And are and will be forever and ever. Sounds like a Scientology contract, you know? <laughs> Just sign one billion years, that's all. <laughs> Therefore, of what have ye to boast? Well, you sure brought them down. <laughs> Damn, Benji the Downer. <laughs> Benji the Downer. Just fart some dust and die already. <laughs> and now I ask, can ye say aught of yourselves? I answer you, nay. <laughs> That's usually the answer. <laughs> ye cannot say that ye are even as much as the dust of the earth. <laughs> Benji ought to know. <laughs> but, behold, it belongeth to him who created you. So, I mean, even if you're just dusty, still owns your ass. <laughs> There's no escaping him! <laughs> I, even I, <laughs> oh, 
26, I'll make it. <laughs> oh, God, that's good. <laughs> Go bag of dust. <laughs> oh. This video is totally broken down. I apologize. And I, even I, <laughs> whom ye call your king. I'm no better, uh, better than yourselves. Uh, is that right? <laughs> I totally lost my place. Uh, oh, dust, yeah. <laughs> and ye, <laughs> well, it was dust that threw me. <laughs> I'm going to have to play some Kansas after this. <laughs> and ye behold that I am old. No doubt, motherfucker. <laughs> You're old. You're pretty tired, too. And boring. <laughs> uh, Benji the Downer. And I am about to yield up this mortal frame to its... Mother Earth. Therefore, as I said unto you, that I had, had served you, walking with a clear conscience before God, even so I at this time have caused that ye should assemble yourselves together, that I might be found blameless. So this is all for you, Benji. You selfish prick. <laughs> and that your blood should not come upon me. Ah, <laughs> more of that shit. <sighs> when I shall stand and be judged of God, of the things thereof he hath commanded me concerning you. Damn, turn it all around. Yeah, have some guilt. <laughs> Bye, I feel so good now. <laughs> it sounds like some promise keeper kind of shit. <sighs> yeah. I say unto you that I have caused that ye should assemble yourselves. You already said that, dickhead. Damn. Uh, together that I might rid my garments of your blood. <laughs> At this period. Oh, really? Of time when I am about to go down to my grave. I'm going to bring you all down with me. <laughs> And my immortal spirit may join the choirs above in singing the praises of a just God. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Eternity, how about that? <sighs> and moreover, I say unto you <laughs> that I have caused that ye should assemble yourselves together, that I might declare unto you that I can no longer be your teacher nor your king. Oh, no. Oh, well. <laughs> Get off the stage. <laughs> Throw a bottle at him. <laughs> uh. For even at this time my whole frame doth tremble exceedingly while attempting to speak unto you. But the Lord doth support me, and hath suffered me that I should speak unto you. Like you keep saying. And hath 
commanded me that I should declare unto you this day that my son Mosiah is a king and a ruler over you, and also the guy they named this book after. <sighs> And now, my brethren, I would that ye should do as ye, as ye have hitherto done. Well, what's this conversation about then? <laughs> Say something new, old man. <laughs> as ye have kept my commandments and also the commandments of my father and have prospered and have been kept from falling into the hands of your enemies, even so if ye shall keep the commandments of my Son, or the commandments of God, which shall be delivered unto you by him. Big circle. Uh, ye shall prosper in the land, and your enemies shall have no power over you. But, O oh my people, beware, lest there shall arise contentions among you. Oh, he's a prophet. No fool in him. And ye list to obey, you know, as in, e -e -e -e, that kind of list. I'm helping out. <sighs> and I lost my place. Fuck. That's the thanks I get. All right. Oh. And ye list to obey the evil spirit. Isn't that the one that God sends? That lying spirit? He sent to Ahab? <laughs> Which was spoken of by my father, Mosiah. Oh, wait. That's... That's right. Oh. <sighs> For behold, there is a woe pronounced upon him who listeth, listeth to obey that spirit. For it he listeth to obey him and remaineth and dieth in his sins. The same drink of damnation to his own soul. For he received for his wa wages an everlasting punishment. <laughs> Having transgressed the law of God contrary to his own knowledge. Yeah, we'll have none of that. I say unto you that there are not any among you, except it be little children that have not been taught concerning these things, but that knoweth that ye are eternally indebted to your heavenly Father to render to him all that you have and are, and also have been taught concerning the records which contain the prophecies which have been spoken by the holy prophets, even down to the time of our father Lehi, uh, or to the time our father Lehi left Jerusalem. Yeah, I guess it would cut off about there. I mean... <laughs> You know, there's something really disturbing about verse 34 and its childhood indoctrination bit. And also, all that has been spoken by our fathers until now. And behold, behold, they spake that which was commanded them of the Lord. Damn, the screensaver came on. <laughs> Therefore, they are just and true. So, just don't think about it. Just you know, swallow, the, swallow the whole fucking thing, you know. Take the other pill. 
which one was that? The red one? Yeah, the red pill. I think it was. Ah. And now I say unto you, my brethren, that after ye have known and have been taught all these things, if ye should transgress and go contrary to that which has been spoken, that ye do withdraw yourselves from the Spirit of the Lord, that it may have no place in you to guide you in wisdom's path, that ye be blessed and prospered and preserved. Damn. So that's like kind of one of those situations like, well, why the fuck did you tell me? <laughs> I'd have been all right if you hadn't told me. Fuck you. Have some boot. <laughs> <laughs> and now I say unto you, my brethren, that after ye have known and have been taught all these things, if ye should transgress and go contrary to that which has been spoken, that ye do withdraw yourselves from the Spirit of the Lord, that ye may have no No place in him, in you to guide you in wisdom's path, that ye may be blessed, prospered, and preserved. <sighs> I say unto you that that man that doth this, the same cometh out in open rebellion against God, therefore he listeth to obey the evil spirit, and becometh an enemy to all righteousness. Therefore the Lord has no place in him, for he dwelleth not in unholy temples. Therefore if that man repenteth not, and remaineth and dieth an enemy to God, that demands of divine that demands of divine uh, justice to awaken his immortal soul to a lively sense of his own guilt, which doth cause him to shrink from the presence of the Lord, and doth fill his breast with guilt and pain and anguish, which is like an unquenchable fire, whose flame ascendeth up forever and ever. We wax poetic now. <laughs> and now I say unto you, that mercy hath no claim on that man. Therefore his final doom is to ensure a never-ending torment. O oh, all ye old men, and also ye young men, and you little children, who can understand my words... For I have spoken plainly unto you that ye might understand. I pray that you should awake to the remembrance of the awful situation of those that have fallen into transgression. That's verse 40, and he seems to have left out women, females. What the fuck, Benji? Maybe they're exempt from all guilt. Maybe that's what it is. He's only bitching out the fellas. It's, hey, you women sit this out. This ain't about you. I don't know. Check it out. Verse 40. Of second Mosiah. <laughs> it prepared to be bored. <laughs> I pray that ye should awake to the remembrance <laughs> of the awful situation of those that have fallen into transgression. And moreover, I would uh, desire that ye should consider on the blessed and happy state of those that keep the commandments of God, which happen to be yours. For behold, they are blessed in all things, both temporal and spiritual, and if they hold out forever to the end, 
they are received into heaven, that they may dwell with God in a state of never-ending happiness. Awesome. Like an orgasm that never ends. Awesome, man. Sign me up. Oh, remember, remember that these things are true. Right. Uh, for the Lord hath spoken it. Hey, it's in the Book of Mormon, so... And that's the end of that particular chapter. So, I'll see you in chapter 3. Peace. The fuck out. And whatever it is, have a wonderful one. Bye.